Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a category or archive pages for WordPress using Elementor Pro. So uh, as you can see that this is a custom made archive page for this category and this is a beautiful card design and it's uh, for it's not from my default WordPress theme. I'm using Astra and Elementor Pro to build this. So uh, first of all, you will have to have Elementor Pro and Astra theme or any other theme installed. Come to your admin dashboard and come to templates. If you already have uh, Elementor installed, then you will see this menu templates. Click on theme builder. Here, click on archive. In the archive section, click on add new archive and you will see some uh, template options. Choose the template type as archive and type the name archive. It's, it will be category or category page and create template. Elementor Pro also have some different design, beautiful and nice and beautiful designs. You can choose one of them or you can just close this and build your own template. First I'll add a row with full width and give a separator first, a spacer to separate the top from the contents. add up to 100 px or 60 px and then the next thing I'll be adding is the archive title which will be the default archive page title plus uh, some default text from for my visitors Just drag the spacer above the title and type the archive title. Include context. And then again click on the items and come drag the archive post below the title. And here we are. Uh, also add some spacer above the title and below the above the post and below the title to separate these two as well. Okay, now click on the cards and change the skin from classic to cards or full content. Okay, these are the cards. Now reduce the excerpt to 10 because it's too long. And you can remove the comments or da date from metadata. This is the date and the comments. So I'll remove the comments, for example and you can add the author and time as well author then date okay there are some more options you can change the read more button type to view details and then the badge taxonomy will be categories mm, show avatar you can hide this avatar or you can just leave it now the pagination uh, come to the pagination section and click on this turn it to next and previous or numbers or numbers plus next and previous 
and then you can shorten them uh, so only two or three uh, page number buttons will be appeared and you can also align left or right so pagination will appear uh, at this side or this side of the page uh, currently I have um, less um, post numbers uh, that is why uh, you can't see the pagination but if you have more than 10, pa 10 posts and you mentioned um, in the reading section to show more uh, just 10 pro posts then you will see the pagination here okay so uh, this is the template just publish it and finally it will ask you where you want to display your template click on add condition and the condition will be include and all archive pages just archive pages click on save and close it will be published okay now the archive page is live I'll show you some more settings but first let's see the preview how it will look like click on preview okay here is a beautiful archive page design you can click on the category to see uh, another categories or open the website and refresh the archive page which is this category and the template will be automatically changed to the one you just made okay we have uh, three columns and ten posts per page now come to the settings page again and click on the layout now we have columns you can set it up to two columns or you can change it to four columns per page per, per row and show images yes masonry uh, if you click on the masonry grid then uh, the images will automatically adjust to masonry grid format and you can choose the image size to be loaded so if you have a medium 300 by 300 version for the picture then it will not be loaded in the full version and it will reduce the page load time which is also good for SEO and uh, Google prefer those pages which have uh, lesser size for images or less size for loading so uh, these are so these are all the settings there is also uh, advanced section it seems you can't find what you are looking for uh, if there are no posts in the category then you will uh, see this message uh, otherwise you can change this to your custom message okay from the layout you also have a full content option which is uh, somehow um, identical to the default post type and this is how it will look like all the posts will be visible with full contents and titles on the same page you can uh, reduce the mm, row gap or you can increase it show thumbnails you can also add thumbnails to your uh, posts and uh, change the thumbnail from medium to large so that these are not blurry anymore so that was uh, the archive page design click on update and uh, if you come to your front end and refresh the page you will see uh, how um, the changes took place scroll down and see if all the changes are available uh, so that was all for today's video please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you